Hello everyone! One of our outdoor tub is already worn out and now it's leaking. 90% of the water is lost. So I bought two large plastic storage boxes to replace the old tubs. These boxes are much longer and wider and taller compared to the existing plastic tubs that I have. As you can see, I removed two small circle tubs to give space for the new ones. This tub is vacant and this tub has purple mosaic juvenile guppies so I decided to align it with the other tubs for safety. To avoid water from overflowing, I decided to make a hole on the new tubs. I remember I also have one new small tub so I decided to pull the boxes to the right side to give space for the small box. After placing the tubs, I used pressure hose to wash it carefully. I used pressure hose as well to fill up the tub with water easily. After filling up the first tub, I realized I placed the tub in the wrong position. The hole should be in front since the area here is not level properly. You can see it on some of my tubs where one side of the tub is almost full and the other side of the tub is still has a gap. Luckily, this tub can be easily pulled out and moved easily because of the built-in wheels below. After making sure that the tubs are placed already properly, I started to fill up the remaining tubs. And you can also see that it drained right through the hole I made instead of overflowing. Salt stabilized water temperature and kill possible parasites inside. For measurement, you can add 1 tablespoon of salt per 10 liters of water. Then stir like a water bender to dissolve the salt. One week after, white substances will float on top surface. These chemicals can harm our fish, so make sure to get rid of all of them. Earlier, we harvested full gold guppies from the other tubs. Now we will place our fish to this tub. But before we can release them, we will have to acclimate first. Just leave the fish floating for 10 to 15 minutes like this so they will be able to adapt the temperature in their new home. After acclimating, we can now release our guppies to the tub safely. Now we will transfer the guppies from the leaking tub. We will use a net and small tub to catch the guppies. Today, we will prioritize saving all the guppies from the leaking tub. These guppies will be transferred here together with other male guppies. While acclimating, I noticed full gold guppies are really stunning when viewed on top. Before releasing to the tub, I decided to place them in a viewing tank and you can see all our male full gold guppies are selected and have really solid coloration. After 15 minutes, it's time to release them to the tub and I can feel that they are very happy with their new home. In feeding your guppies, make sure to provide them live or frozen foods such as mosquito larvae, brine shrimps, and Dapnia, which I'm currently feeding to them right now. If you have aquatic plants, then you can add it on your outdoor tubs. They will help filtering the water, providing clear and safe environment for the fish. I use my DIY siphon to do water changes in all of my outdoor tubs. Your first goal in doing water change is to siphon any debris, food, leftovers, and fish poop out from your outdoor tub. These are very harmful when left inside the tub and cause a lot of health issues on your guppy. In this way, you take out harmful substances and also remove 30% of water out from the tub. For refilling your fish tubs, I prefer you use tap water. We all know tap water is dangerous because it might contain harmful chemicals. But our goal is to strengthen our fish and let them be immune to any changes. This is why we refill 30% of 
tap water to the tub every 3 days so that they can adapt to small changes until they become immune. Meanwhile, if you suspect any disease developing in your guppies, you can add small amount of salt to the tub. Otherwise, if they are healthy, then no need to put salt. As you can see, all the guppies are playing on top surface and they really like it a lot. Water change enhances growth and immunity, so make sure to do this regularly. And lastly, cover half portion of your tub to minimize algae growth. Repeat the same process until you master fish keeping. That's all for today and thanks for watching.